Hello everyone, welcome back to The Storyist. Today I will be sharing with you a story about a devoted dog who got abandoned in a shelter. After realizing that he's all alone, he couldn't stop crying. Watch the video until the end to see why he had been abandoned and find out what happened after. Julio is an intelligent and fun-loving kid. He was born into a poor family with seven siblings. But he loves his life so much. Even though his family doesn't have enough, he manages to find happiness in the simplest things in life. And for that, his mother is very proud of him. His father, on the other hand, does not like his jolly farcade and attitude. His father hates seeing him happy because he feels like there isn't anything to be happy about. As a result, every time Julio goes home from school, his father would beat him until the smile is wiped off his face. His mother cannot do anything but watch and cry because he is big and muscly while she is thin and weak. Often Julio would run to his room crying after being beaten by his father, while his other siblings would comfort him in silence in their cramped little room. One day, as Julio is walking down their neighborhood from school, he finds a little dog by the gate of their home. He pities the dog for its condition. The dog is very weak and can barely stand up. It looks like it has gotten into a fight with other dogs because wounds are all over his body. Julio picks him up and cradles him. The dog lets him, and being all alone, he entrusts his whole self to Julio. Julio brings him home and nurses him back to health. He covers the dog's wounds to stop them from bleeding and applies medicine on them so they won't get an infection. The dog is very grateful for Julio's good deed, and he licks Julio in return. But Julio knows he can't keep the dog, because if his father finds out, he will surely kick the dog out. He can't let the dog wander the streets again in its condition. So he hides the dog in their home's basement. Every now and then, Julio visits his dog, and they will play. The dog loves Julio so much and he loves the dog too. His name is Buddy, and the two are inseparable. Every day before going to school, Julio would visit Buddy to play with him for a few minutes, give him enough food and water to last till he comes back and rub his belly. Then, after school, he will play with him again and give him treats from the stores outside his school. He teaches him new tricks too every day. One night, Julio's father heads down the basement to fix a broken pipe. He finds Buddy lying on the floor. He gets enraged and kicks the dog out. Julio tries to stop his father, but he starts beating the dog up. Buddy's wounds aren't fully healed yet, so Julio cries as he sees Buddy's wounds bleeding up again. Buddy whimpers and howls in pain. When Julio can't take it any longer, he runs towards Buddy and carries him until they escape the house. Julio keeps running and running, looking for a shelter far from his home. After a while, he finds a dog shelter outside the neighborhood. He is too afraid to go inside because he doesn't want anyone to recognize him and bring him back to his father. So he just puts Buddy on the stairs of the shelter and seeks for a piece of paper and a pen. When he finds one, he writes a letter, ties a made-up collar around Buddy's neck, and hangs the letter from it. He is crying really hard while kissing Buddy on the forehead. I'll come back for you, Buddy, Julio says and leaves. Buddy keeps whimpering from the pain he has suffered from Julio's father. Hearing Buddy's painful howls, a woman from inside the shelter peeks through the window and gets surprised by the sight. She immediately runs to the shelter's front porch and picks up poor little Buddy. They saw the made-up collar and read the letter that hung from it. It says, 
I have to give up Buddy so my father won't beat him anymore. Please take good care of him because I love him. Love, Jay. The woman ushers Buddy in a huge room filled with other homeless dogs. Some of them are playing and some of them are sleeping and some of them immediately crawl toward him to sniff him. As the woman closes the door, that's when he realized that he has been abandoned by Julio. It may not have been long, but he loves Julio very much, and he knows to himself that Julio would never give him up. On his first night at the shelter, he tries to think that Julio will come back for him in the morning. But when morning comes and Julio isn't there, he cries hard and whimpers at the thought. He cries the whole day and howls the whole night, whimpering in the agony of being left alone. As days go by, people come and go to the shelter. Dog lovers who are hoping to find the newest member of their family adopt dogs after dogs. Buddy witnessed almost half the dogs vanish, going home to their new loving parents. After a few months, he still hasn't been picked by anyone, because every time a person comes near him, he would cry and wail. The people at the shelter are confused as to why Buddy doesn't want anyone to pick him. But little do they know, Buddy is still waiting for Julio to come back. Every time a person walks in the shelter, he hopes it is Julio. But then, when it isn't, he will cry for hours on end. But there's one specific woman who visits him every day. He will wail in front of her like he does to others. But the woman will just wait and smile at him. One day, Buddy finally accepts that Julio is never coming back for him. So when the same woman comes along to search for a specific dog and surprisingly points to him, he does not hesitate and he comes home with the woman. Buddy's loyalty to Julio never fades until his last day at the shelter. He is still thinking about his first owner, the first person to ever make him feel how it is to be loved. So as his new owner is driving him to her home, he is still crying, thinking that he will never see his beloved owner again. As they arrive in the woman's house, Buddy sees a little boy running excitedly towards him. As the boy gets nearer, he recognizes him. It's Julio! Julio hugs him very tight and kisses him on the forehead as he always did before. I was so afraid that you won't be at the shelter anymore, Julio says to Buddy. Buddy cries in happiness and licks Julio's face in excitement. Turns out, after the night when Buddy got beaten, a social worker found Julio wandering the streets. She watched him leave Buddy on the shelter's front steps, and she watched him sneak back home. The following day, she asked Julio at school if there were problems inside his home, and that gave Julio the opportunity to tell the authorities about his father's abuse. The social services then took some of the children under their care, and with his mother's consent, the social worker who found Julio adopted him. Now he is happily going to a private school, living inside a big house, and visiting his siblings every now and then in their new home away from their abusive father. After the incident, the woman who took care of Julio went to the shelter to get Buddy back. But Buddy wouldn't want to go home with anyone. Every day after her work, she would go back to Buddy until the day that Buddy finally went home with her. I told you I'll come back for you, Julio tells Buddy, and the two hug tightly. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.